What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and today I wanted to introduce you to something that I was shown recently that I think is really cool. And there's a lot of stuff that I show on this channel where it's not necessarily like a shooter, it's not necessarily like per se like a game. Sometimes I show off game engines, so sh sometimes I just show off like tech demos. There there's all sorts of things, and this is one of those things that I've found that I think is actually really cool. Um, this is Core. It actually just came out with an open alpha. You can go download it right now. I'll go ahead, I'll put a link in the comment section so you can go uh, get it for yourself. And this is actually a full-blown game editor built on top of Unreal Engine 4. I think this is really cool. If you guys know about Dreams for PS4, this is essentially Dreams uh, but for the PC uh, and for Unreal Engine 4. And if you're interested in getting into game development, I think the coolest thing about this is that this is the perfect way to start getting your feet wet with game development. And let me, let me show you why. So first things first, uh, when you download Core, again, if you've ever played Dreams for PS4, it's very similar. So you download this one thing, and there are hundreds and hundreds of games uh, that the community has made. So there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, think about it. I, 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 I kind of want to compare it to, uh, to Gary's Mod, but that's not really a good comparison. Again, if you don't know what Dreams is for PS4, that's just the best comparison that I have. Um, it, it, that's kind of what it is. But here's, here's why this is so cool. You've got all these video games, so like here's... Here's one. Uh, this looks pretty cool. This is like a like a fantasy game of some kind. So let's let's go ahead and play this. So you just press the play button. Uh, it loads up. It, it just streams straight to your to your to your build. It's kind of like Steam Workshop, I guess. Kind of similar to that, except for full games. <laughs> um, so you've got all these completely different games that are made and you can download and play them just like, you know, you you have uh, Steam Workshop. So here's here's a random project. I, I have no idea. This is uh, some kind of... Some kind of like... Oh, it, yeah, it's really pretty. The music is kind of... Oh, hold on, where's the audio music? Go away, music. I don't care about the music. Um, this is really pretty. Actually, this is pretty cool. I guess it's... Uh, I have to wait for more players to start, but this is kind of like um, like a medieval medieval game that, that somebody created. But here's what's so cool about this, alright? So here's, here's what the cool thing is. So, you've got all of these different games that you can play, but... What you can also do is you can create your own games, and all of these games that you that you find um, that that are shared by the creator that makes them, you can actually take that and remix it. So let's see, let's go here and we'll take we'll find that project here, Spell Shock, and we can say my version of Spell Shock. So go ahead and we can download this, and then we can actually remix or create our own game from scratch using the game that this other community member played. And it's so cool. And it's, it's, it's built on top of Unreal Engine 4, but it has its own editor. So it's not exactly the same as Unreal Engine 4. It's, it's like a much more accessible, much more streamlined version of Unreal Engine 4. Um, which, I mean, to be fair, Unreal Engine 4 is already like really, really well made and accessible and, and easy to use. Um, but this is just kind of like that next level of accessibility. And you can go in here and you can look at all of the, the scripts. You can look at all of the assets, the materials, you can look at all of it, and then you can create your own version of whatever game you play on here. So you can create uh, a new map, or you can change the game mode entirely, or you can, you can do anything. You can do whatever you want. It's, it's, it's so cool. This is like the exact kind of stuff that I think is really awesome. You have all of these community-made games that people are making, and, and all of these games that are shared on this platform, um, and, and that the source code is shared for, you can, you can grab, and you can remix, and you can make your own versions of. And that is just, I don't know, that's just the coolest thing. It's the coolest thing. And you, you can sit here, and you can save all of your different projects, um, and you can make first-person shooters, you can make third-person shooters, you can make um, Battle Royale games, you can make, you know, Battlefield-style games, you can do whatever you want. You can look, and you can see what other people have made. You can look at the games that are, like, the highest-voted games, 
games and and all of the it's so, like I don't know. Let's find let's see if there's like a like a first person shooter or something like that that we can play. Browse games. Uh, highest rated games. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you can find some some really bad. I mean, obviously, again, some of these games are either really weird or really bad. Here's one where it's like chess. I don't know what that is. A self-playing piano project. <laughs> what? Uh, a unstitched witch. I think somebody's creating like a um, like a story driven game I have I have no idea but there's so much stuff to explore it like it's just endless endless content it's it's ah it's so dope I, I love it I, I don't know what this is island wars I have, I have no idea um here let's just pick core MOBA somebody's creating like a MOBA in this uh hidden dragon I don't even know what that is um, can this is like a oh here we go this is just this is kind of like an example of how this is an example of how completely different things you can make so like the last thing we played was like a I don't know like a Fortnite Zelda thing and this is built on the same thing and it's like uh like like pirate ships like a pirate ship thing um but this just kind of this kind of shows like. This is this is basically its own tiny little game engine built on Unreal Engine 4, uh, and you can play all of these little games, and then you can remix them. You can access the source files. You can go in there. You can make new versions. You can make new content. This is like mod support on crack. This is like this is the love. This is the stuff that I love so much. This is like um, this is like uh, I don't know, like Steam Workshop. On crack, you know, it's like Steam Workshop, but instead of just mods, it's like full games, and then full games that not only you can download and just play immediately, but you have access to the source code too, and you can make your own versions of the game. So, like for this, for instance, this, like we could make a. I mean, if you decided that you loved this this game for whatever reason, you're like, oh my gosh, top-down pirate ship. You could make new content for this. You could make new ships. You could make new uh, little maps and stuff. It's you could do whatever you want. It's so cool. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> so this is pretty dope. It's called Core. You can go check it out. There's an open alpha. I'll definitely put a link. I think this is something that should definitely be on your, your radar. I think this is a really cool project. Um, it's free. You can go download it right now. I think if you're a YouTuber and you're looking for like content to like cover and make videos about, this is a really cool idea because you can just go on there and every single day you can see like new stuff that the community's made. You can make videos on that, or you can maybe have your own like if you want to make something different or like you're playing a thing and you're like, oh man, I wish there was this. You can do it. If there, if there's a feature that you want, you could just go in there. You can just make it. It's amazing. It's so cool. Um, so it's called Core. It's free. Go check it out. It's really interesting. I think I think stuff like this is amazing. Die Island. Let's see here. So let's see. Let's take a look at some other some other projects. There's there's it's just endless. You can just explore this for like for and there's new stuff all the time. Um, and it's also multiplayer, which I think is cool as well. So like all of these projects are are multiplayer compatible. Um, which I think is really rare, because there's not very many things like this that also has uh, multiplayer support. There's board games and stuff. There's, what is this, Core Wars? I think somebody created like a... Oh, oh hold up, what is this? Is that what I think it is? Is that a... Is that a oh my god, hold up. Is this like a, a Star Wars? This is like a Star Wars version of the game. I can, I can just explore this for hours. I've just been sitting in here just looking at stuff all day. Please, please be Battlefront. Please, please be Battlefront. And this is just the beginning. Like, this just came out recently. And this is just what people have created in, like, I don't know, like a couple months, I think? Weeks, even? Possibly? I don't know. Oh, yes. Oh, no, let me outside. Oh, oh, look, there's a speeder. There's a speeder. Oh, my God. It's a Battlefront game mode. Oh, my God. That's amazing. So it's Battlefront. You can play. Dude, see, this is, this is dope. This is incredible. 
This is the little speeders. Oh, I want to play it. I want to play. It. I need somebody else to come and help me play this. This is this is so cool. So, anyways, I think this is awesome. You guys know me. I love finding stuff and showing it to you. This is a really cool platform. I think if you're interested in getting started in game development, this is the kind of stuff that's just the perfect place to start. Like, it's super simple. It's super easy to get involved in. You can go in there and you can just start playing with games. But then, if you want to start like going beyond that and maybe tinkering with the games, making your own versions of them start playing around with scripting, start playing around with level design, you can do it. All the tools are there right in the game. It's like it's like a level editor on speed. It's amazing. It's This is really kind of almost blurring the line between what is an in-game like content editor and what is a full-blown game engine. Um, so, I don't know. It's amazing. Go explore it. It's really cool. Uh, I, I think I'll definitely, I would love to bring some some guys from the community in here and we can maybe play some of these games. Maybe even make our own versions of, of these different games I think that's really cool it's a it's a great way I mean as you guys know I really like getting our community members involved in game development so that way you guys can eventually help us with our own projects as well that are on like Unreal Engine 4 so this would be a super cool thing I think for the community to get involved in where we can start kind of like maybe playing games with each other but then we can also it's it's a good it's a gateway drug to to start getting you guys like uh, familiar with game development tools and stuff like that so maybe in the future who knows maybe you can actually contribute to a full blown uh, game development project it's, it's awesome this, this is really cool so definitely go check it out um, I will definitely put links in the comments uh, if you can't see it because sometimes YouTube like blocks my comments uh, somebody else posted a link to whatever your favorite game in, is in this and man I'll, I'll see you guys in here it's really cool all right remember i love you forever and i'll see you in the next one all right cheers boys